Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today once again here at Motec Performance. You guys may have seen the video I did very recently comparing both the 135i, uh, the Motec development car at the moment, and of course my 140i. The main reason, which I mentioned in that video, why I'm here is to have some more stuff done to the 140. So, I'm not going to waste any time here. We'll introduce Mike in a minute. We can do that all later. Let's just get the car inside and get these modifications up because I have a sneaky suspicion that it's going to make this thing look a lot better. In she comes. It's going to look fairly different by the time it comes back out. Anyway, oh, he knows. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's warm in there. It is. It's I was really just having easy. me lunch. Oh, I can tell it's January. Yeah, yeah. Right, what are you back in today for? A lot of stuff. You are actually. Lots yeah. of bits and bobs, actually. So, last time we saw you, you didn't have your particular filter deleted. No. Oh, yeah, that's true. You had that done. Yeah, because nice. the springs and spaces was the first thing we did. Yeah, and yeah. you changed the wheels up, which looks good. Yeah, yeah. Um, lots of controversy that. on the black. Yeah, people are liking it now with the wheels. Maybe we should add more black to it. You were part of the inspiration, actually, because you had a 240i. 235i. 235i. Yes, that's correct, yeah. I bought the genuine BMW ones with the silver thing. Yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. were saying, oh, no, it's not a BMW -like thing, but you, you yeah, yeah. could or can get it, I yeah, think. Yeah, anyway, it, yeah. So. it was a BMW M4 to part. Yeah. I think. Chris Harris did yep. a review on a 235i with it and he actually had the red pitch stripe which looked a little bit odd. Yeah, so you yeah, buy yeah. them with solid black like that you've had done or silver mm -hmm. or red. Interesting, I don't wow, know I'm that. a geek, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> the BMW man, anyway. <laughs> I know a bit about them, We've yeah. got the bonnet open for a reason. We because. have, yes. So, you've obviously done the exhaust, yep. you've got plenty more noise from that. So, mm -hmm. let's. we did have a chat last time, I think, off camera about the intake. Yeah. Yes, we did, yeah. So, we're going to do the intake. So, mm -hmm. fundamentally, the original airbox is positioned, not in the very best of places. It's yeah. next to the turbo, so it does get hot. Ah, okay. So, yeah, I was wondering in a video which I filmed earlier on where the turbo was in there, so there you yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally just there, all the, all the bits down there. Yep. So to get more noise from it, you have to have to run an open intake. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest problem that any intake or even a panel feature, in fact, the original airbox, as you can feel, is hot, is to try and stop a lot of heat soak. So what we yep. actually do is we've uh, fabricated with Piper Cross to use the bottom half of the airbox mm -hmm. with the heat shield already in place. And then we have a wall, which will be the same height as this. So of course, when the bonnet is down, yep. it's going to you know, stop as much hot air as we can do. And then we uh, heat-proof gold-resistant tape on the side as well. Nice. The main difference is putting a comb filter in place, it's going to sound better. A bit yep. more free-flow air. And we take this resonator box off as well. So that there is yes. like a resonator. So like your particulate filter was like yep. a resonator as well, that's what that is for the airbox. Well, who so would have thought? Take, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> Trying to think the hardest to make these things quiet. Yeah. So yeah. that'll be your next stage. And I know you were talking mm -hmm. about doing stages later down the line. Yep. This will enhance what the next yep. mods are. I won't want to say. <laughs> it's a different video. He knows. Yeah. So uh, we're doing that. And of course, we're going to add your max in front. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're doing max that. Sides. Max and sides. Rear spoiler. Rear spoiler. Right rear diffuser. Yes. So, so we're going to be. Lots black. Yeah, we're going to be doing. <laughs> I'm just going to point this out now. Today is not the video where we're going to do the canards and the mirrors. I can, I can always... No, there'll always... be somebody that hate that, exactly. Yeah. We just had a conversation, do you do carbon, do you do black, do you do the standard ones in black, do you yeah, do the M3, M4 style? Um, There's a lot of options, but either way, they're not going to be that tacky grey colour for much longer. In fact, I've got one more option that I'll talk to you off camera as well. Okay, yeah. ooh, more mods, I like the sound of that. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, I guess we're just going to get cracking. We're going to car... Blah, 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 blah. I'm so excited, I can't even talk. Get the car <laughs> up on the ramp, uh, obviously it makes it easier for fitting all this stuff, I wouldn't even want to try and... No, some people fit <laughs> it on the floor, up. which is no problem at all, but these things, yeah. they are easier when you've got, you know, the yeah. car is five foot in the air. So and you've probably done things. millions of them anyway. Not me personally, Nick, the guy upstairs has done yeah. more than these. Yeah, I mean, we would have done Maxton kits fitted to these. Probably every... 250, something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. In fact, you've just seen one leave already. Now. That's it, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Which I don't think I caught on camera, but uh, anyway, sweet. Right, I guess, um, well... Let's, uh, let's, let's crack, crack on. So wait, what do you do first? The intake, probably? Um, or... Probably the Maxton kit and okay. the rear, first of all. We'll wait for this to cool down. Yeah, oh yeah, bottle. that's a good shout, yeah. yeah exactly. Actually, let's, let me just come around to the back, actually. You guys may have um, seen in previous videos of mine where I've always said that I just hate this. It's not even a rear diffuser, it's just a rear panel. I mean, look at that there, which it's, yeah, it's not very nice. And it's in that tacky grey colour as well. Although it is going to make my exhaust uh, look a little bit strange, but I don't know, one mod leads to another one. But uh, anyway. Crack on. Crack on. Fit 
fitment of the parts is now well underway here at Motec, but I thought I'd just jump on a very quick voiceover just to speak about a few things. Maxon Design supplies a fitting guide with every single order, which will help massively when correctly fitting the parts. However, in my case, the wizards here at Motec did all the hard work for me. Further on from this, Maxon have also supplied a 10% discount for you guys. Simply use HP10 at checkout, but you can find all the information in the description of this video. Now, with that said, let's crack on with fitting the rest of the parts. Now he's going to run it outside. Got the 135i there as well, but this thing looks so much better. We'll, we'll run through everything that we've done, um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, looking so much better. <laughs> so here we go then, here is the car. Now, before I run around uh, and show you what we've done, I'm actually going to hop in. Oh, can you let me in my car, please? <laughs> How bad is that? I forgot to do it. Because the one series is here. <laughs> you got to do it again. <laughs> you know what, the lot oh, get me as well. So we're going to have a little play with the intake. Yeah. Because um, it, well, it only really works when you're on the move. Under load, yeah, exactly. So we will have uh, blow my window down. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Right. That's cool. We'll run it in eco mode as well. We'll do that because it'll keep the exhaust a bit quieter. Yep. So you'll hear the intake. God, I've never been uh, in the passenger seat of my car yet. Actually, no. That's a lie. When I was on the test drive. That's oh the really? Only time. Yeah. I'll make you buy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You can hear it so you flutter away. <laughs> Having the uh, OPS taken up makes it a lot more livelier. It does. Yeah, 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 yeah a lot more sort of free flow. It's, as a driver, you'll really hear the noises. We'll have the yeah. window down this time as well. But it's one of those things, it's difficult to catch on film, but you can really hear it. It's like a, an extra noise, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's turbo wastegate, uh, you know, open and closing, like a dump valve in the system. <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> You can hear it, can't you? <laughs> Lovely, jubbly. They're good cars. They are good cars. <laughs> Might have to buy another one. Yeah, do it. That's a brilliant Well, you've, you heard the plans, what the plans for yes. the year are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't say anything yet. No, there might be maybe one or two. Anyway, let's hop out and... Um, have a quick talk about the intake. Run around, yeah, and uh, well, all the other stuff that oh, we've had done. Yes, yes. So, what do we all think of this now? <laughs> so, we have the Maxton... Uh, I think it's V3, isn't it? Yep. V, V, whatever it is. It's a maximum front splitter, which uh, has made a huge difference. It's actually a lot more aggressive than what I thought. And yes, I know they are going gloss black or carbon soon. I'm unsure which one to go for along with the mirrors. Uh, but yeah, that's now on the car. It's going to make it even lower than what it already is. And then we've also got the side sills as well, which complement uh, the gloss black uh, wrap down the swage line as well from Maxton Design. Going towards the back, we then have the Riga Diffuser, which, you know what, I, I hated the original one. It was like that tacky gray color, um, and it was not aggressive at all. But that looks so much better. Um, but I just need to get the exhaust tips done now, because they look, uh, well, they look a bit weird, don't they? Um, so that's gonna be something else. And then also a nice little rear lip as well. So what do we all think then? This uh, is starting to become uh, a bit of a beast, I think. Now, yes, like I mentioned, we've got some other bits which need to go gloss black as well, but that has made a huge difference. I mean, the 140i standard is quite a, a vague looking car. It's quite a, it's not very aggressive compared to that, for example. Um, I think those Maxton parts have done wonders. Now, 
couple of thank yous. First of all, to the guys here at Motec Performance for fitting everything, um, the intake, and also uh, the little rear spoiler, which I wasn't expecting, so thank you for that. Um, I'll leave all their info down in the description, but also to Max and Design for supplying um, well, the front splitter and the side skirts. Now, what's pretty cool is they are giving you guys at home a 10% discount um, for any M140i parts that you would like to grab. I mean, I have seen so many Max and Design parts on 140s. It just makes the car. I mean, I'm sure you agree with me. But yeah, no, the code is HP10. I'll put it on the screen now and I'll leave all the information down in the description and down below along with Motex uh, info too. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap things up for today's video. Um, I'm super happy with how this thing is looking now. Now I've just got to work out what I want to do next. But um, anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures. Stuff to come.